Hello, my name is George Hewn and welcome to Bubble Chart Pro. Today we're going to look at 3D Bubble Charts, a new feature in Bubble Chart Pro version 5, and how to analyze project data using 3D Bubble Charts. As you can see, a 3D Bubble Chart can display four dimensions of data. In this bubble chart, we see cost along the x-axis, probability of success along the y-axis, and the overall value score is calculated by the built-in prioritizer along the z-axis, or the vertical axis. And finally, the bubble size represents the profit for each individual project. In this chart, the most desirable is the front left quadrant. These are projects with the lowest cost, highest probabilities of success, and the highest value scores. The less desirable quadrant is the lower rear quadrant. These are projects with higher costs, lower value scores, and lower probabilities of success. As you can see, in a 3D bubble chart, some of the bubbles tend to get hidden behind other bubbles because of the 3D nature of the chart. So, in Bubble Chart Pro, we can rotate the chart so we can see the different dimensions of bubbles relative to the different grids. We'll start by rotating the chart counterclockwise or to the right by clicking the right arrow button at the bottom of the form. Notice that with each click of the button, the chart rotates a small amount. Now we can more easily see the bubbles in relationship to the overall value on the vertical axis and cost on the horizontal axis. Next, we can rotate the bubble chart downward so we can see the relationship between the probability of success, which is now on the vertical axis, and cost, which is still on the horizontal axis. By clicking the green reset button, we can return immediately to the default view. Next, we'll rotate clockwise or to the left so that we can see the relationship between probability of success, which is now on the horizontal axis, and the overall value score on the vertical axis. And we'll return to the default view again by clicking on the green reset button. In 3D bubble charts, it can be difficult to see the relationship of the bubbles and the grids because of the visual perspective. So, Bubble Chart Pro has a couple of options for helping to overcome this. We'll start by opening the Preferences form, clicking the Bubbles tab, and then checking the Display Drop Lines checkbox. After saving and closing, now you can see that each bubble has a drop line, which are lines with, that run from the center of each bubble to the grids on the sides so that you can see exactly where the center of a bubble is in relationship to the, both the vertical and horizontal grids. Now, to get an even clearer picture, we can also turn this into a 3D scatter chart by clicking equally sized bubbles and then we'll save and close the preferences form. And you can see that the bubbles are now all equally sized, so the size is not representative of profit anymore but it helps to see exactly where they are relative to the grids. So that's a quick overview of how to analyze project data in the new 3D bubble charts in Bubble Chart Pro version 5.2. And you can try it for free by going to our free trial page and signing up for your free demo download. My name is George Hewn. Thank you for watching.